All right, guys. So today we're going to learn the admin notices action hook. Okay. So if we go to adambrown.info and search for the admin notices, we will find that uh, as per the latest version, it is defined in wp admin admin header.php. So let's go there, and if we search it, we can see this is where it is defined. Do action admin notices. Okay, and it is checking is network admin. Uh, and if not is user admin and if not then go ahead and you know uh, display this notice okay I mean uh, go ahead and uh, hook any of the custom functions uh, which are attached to this hook okay so if we go and check for admin notices this uh, displays the notices near the top of the admin pages so for example you know this notice that I've displayed is using that admin notices hook so it helps you display the notices on the admin dashboard backend okay the hook function should echo a message to be displayed so the custom function that you're going to use to hook into this hook uh, should display a message in this format so it should have a div with a class and with the p inside of the div there should be p tag with a message now these classes and the message have uh, this class in fact accepts certain uh, options okay so this is the class of admin notice should be notice plus any one of the notice error so what we're going to write in the class is going to be one of these and not what we want because you know we want the same uh, format the same uh, style to be applied that's why we need to use the same classes that WordPress is providing us so you can use for errors we can use notice error for warning we can use notice warning for success we can use notice success and for info we can use notice info optionally use is dismissible to apply a closing icon okay uh, so for a closing icon, for a closing icon, you need, you can apply the is dismissible. So the icon that you see over here, this closing icon, to apply that, you need to use the is dismissible icon. Okay, and message is something that you can write is up to you. What you want to write there. Okay, so let's take an example. So we want to display done as a notice onto our admin screen. So to do that, we'll go ahead and. Uh, uh, do an add action with the hook name admin notices and we're going to define a custom function this is our custom function and this is going to display a success message <coughs> we're going to use the same format <coughs> which is the div okay and we're going to use one of these classes so we are using notice and we're using notice success because it's a success message that we are displaying so we're using this one and then we are using is dismissible to get the cross sign <coughs> okay and then this uh, p tag uh, which is using the same format p tag and then the message using p in the php tag uh, so underscore e basically uh, this function basically goes and translates the text inside of it and it takes two parameters one is the text and second is the domain name okay so that's what the job is so let's go ahead and use that <coughs> into our functions.php of our theme or our plugin once we use it you can see that you know you've got a done being displayed over here with the cross sign uh, with the CSS that WordPress is applying okay and uh, let's take one more example this one <clears throat> so this is going to display the error message uh, so let's delete it and paste it here so let me explain to you what's going on over here into this uh, function so again this is add action using the admin notices we are calling our custom function we're taking a variable giving it a name of notice notice error because remember we are going to use what the classes that's been given to us by WordPress okay and then message which is the translation of this message arcs and error has occurred and then this is a text domain because this function takes the next parameter as the domain of the text now we're using the php function printf as we all know if we go to php.net we'll see that this function basically uh, 
outputs a formatted string. So it, first it takes the format, uh, which is basically uh, this. This is our format. <coughs> and then it takes the argument. So you can pass argument 1, 2, and 3. So we are passing the arguments here. So what this function is going to do is, this is going to replace this, uh, you know, and percent one dollar s and n percent two dollar uh, s with the class and message respectively. Escape attribute, of course, is going to escape the uh, attribute, and escape HTML is going to escape the message for security purposes. So the one dollar uh, means that you know this is going to be replaced by the first variable, first argument, and two dollar means that it's going to repeat replaced by the second argument and percentage s means it's a string okay and percentage again s means it's a string okay it's not going to be if it was digit then it would have been d percentage d okay so this is going to go ahead and print out the message okay so let's go ahead and uh, so as we can see that we're using the same format div and the p tag even over here okay so let's go ahead and refresh the page <coughs> and as we can clearly see that we've got our orcs uh, and error occurred message we haven't got the cross sign because we haven't used the uh, class name as um, is dismissible right and if you if we were to use it So let's add that class name and see if that works. Yep, we got it. See? Cool. So that's about it for this function. Uh, let me see if there's anything else we need to mention. Mm, yeah, there are a few more things like don't use update nag as a class name. It is not suitable for regular admin notices as it will apply different layout styling to the message. Additionally, it will trigger the message to be moved above the page, thus semantically prioritizing it above notices, which is not. So don't use this update NAC class name. And the class name is dismissed. It will automatically trigger a closing icon to be added to your message via JavaScript. Its behavior, however, applies only on the current screen. It will not prevent a message from reappearing once the page reloads. Or another page is reloaded. Okay, no problem. So I think that's about it for this particular hook, admin notices. If you have any questions, please leave the comment and uh, continue watching more. Take care. Bye bye.